Hi everybody, welcome back to Everyday Thrifty Living. I'm Pass and here as always. Oh. And if you know your channel, please stick around, hit that subscribe button, and click the bell button to be notified every day. I stumbled there for a second. I can barely understand when you say that. <laughs> <laughs> and that's in most of your videos. If you notice, you go so fast through it. I can, I can zoom by it, but then I sound all like... Rawr, rawr, rawr. You get some people going, what did she say? I hope everyone out there is doing well. We're trying to, we're doing good, trying to stay cool, all that good stuff. Because it's, you know, whatever. Anyway, so today we're doing another first impressions, first look, skincare video, product review. So today we're going to be doing a first look at the Belif. This is the True Cream Aqua Balm. Got this in a Macy's Beauty Box. And fun fact, I, this is actually the second time I am, I am filming this particular product because when I went to edit the first video, I realized that because Belif has this one and another product, I was reviewing the other product, not this one. So, so my bad on that one. So, so we're going to get right into this little, little Little, little tiny little pot of cream with this little this little tiny little thing here. So this is available on the on Sephora's website, or Sephora, Ulta, Kohl's, Avon because I believe Avon actually bought out Belif. Avon must be doing good to buy out a company. Yep. Uh, Amazon and of course Belif's own site. This comes in at least three different sizes. We have the twenty five milliliter, which is worth twenty two dollars, fifty milliliter, which is worth thirty eight dollars, and the one hundred milliliter which is worth $62. This is actually, and this is 10 milliliters, so this is like half the size. So this is probably worth around $10 okay. or so. This does have fragrance and this does contain alcohol denature, so I'm a little iffy on that. I don't like what putting on product that has alcohol denature because depending on where the alcohol denature is in the formula can dry out the skin. It can, you know, create, you know, wreak havoc. I'm not trying to fear monger, alcohol denature, but, you know, for my skin type, for my, you know, it's something I like to avoid. However, because it's a small, a small size, I don't think I'm going to see much problems, you know? So, basically, this is an ultra lightweight gel cream that instantly cools and refreshes the skin while providing intensive hydration. Intense. This water-based like moisture. a bucket of water in your face. It, it floods. This water-based moisturizer floods the skin with the rush they of... Up, they should put up a, a warning sound. A, <laughs> oh, sign, a sound. Sign on it. Uh, potential of drowning. Of refreshing hydration and minimize the appearance of pores for soft, smooth skin. Ideal for normal combination oily skin types. So this is for... Uh, what is this for? Yeah, oily, normal oily combination skin. Um, you have to wear your water wings when you put it on. The water wings. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, dryness, pores, dullness, uneven texture. It's supposed to solve all that. Um, the formula contains a blend of apothecary herbs, including antioxidant-rich ladies' mantle, which sounds like a bug. Does it have herbs de Provence? No, 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 no. Oh, herbs de Provence has lavender, actually, in it. Don't it Provence. <laughs> Provence, rather. Which helps neutralize skin damaging radicals and improves the skin as a skin's elasticity and minimizes the appearance of pores. It's a refreshing cream that is formulated to burst when applied, That's releasing scary. a flood of weightless moisture there you go again. The potential of drowning. <laughs> onto the skin for a healthy, smooth, supple appearance. Formulated without sulfates and foul flakes, it is dermatologist tested and formulated without mineral oils, synthetic preservatives, dyes, fragrances, and animal origin ingredients. Um, of course, they have their own clinical version, you know, clinical yeah, uh, you nine can, out of ten scientists agree. Something like that. Uh, so I you don't can, wonder where they get the scientists from. They usually pay those people. No, because like you, you ever seen those toothpaste commercials? Oh, nine, nine out, out of ten. ten. Who's the one dentist? Yeah, who's the one that doesn't like it? And who are these nine that like? Or it? is that just a marketing ploy? Nine out of ten. Couldn't oh, they have yeah. gotten ninety nine out of a hundred? Yeah. So you can apply this as needed to the face and neck. Can be used morning and night for midday moisture. You can just tap gently onto the skin. This can be used as a makeup primer to hydrate and prep the skin before applying makeup. You can leave this overnight as an ultra hydrating uh, sleeping mask. You can combine this with loose liquid and loose highlighter. How to highlighter for a dewy glow. Uh, you can mix this with a high covered foundation for a tinted moisturizer. Mm -hmm. Just get a tinted moisturizer. Mixing. It seems like a lot of work. Uh, you can add a couple of drops of serum or an oil for extra nourishment. Uh, you can store this in the refrigerator to get a 
a super cooling sensation upon application, in addition to the flood that's going to happen to your skin. Um, so they mentioned they took the they a better way to hydrate their skin is by drinking a lot of water. Yes, so. just drinking a lot of water. Water. Drink water. Uh, they mentioned they the top ingredients they put here. They have the ladies mantle, which we discussed, and they have malachite. Malachite. That's malachite. One of the children from uh, Children of the Corn. That's the one. Uh, it's another antioxidant that neutralizes free radical activity. Plantain, which creates moisture on the mo plantain. Isn't that from the ocean? Plantain. Oh. Like plantain. Like you. Plantain creates moist a moisture seal on the skin, and you have oak husk, which is a humectant that attracts moisture. Sounds like an endangered species of beetle. So, now, in addition to all of the extracts that they have, I believe this contains no, it doesn't contain fragrance, but the extracts are the fragrance. So, is it vegan free? Actually, I don't know. It doesn't say. Was but, it tested on animals? I don't know. It doesn't say. It actually doesn't say. I do not know if it's cruelty-free or vegan. I actually do not know. Let me see. Does it say anything here? I'm not getting anything, but I'll find out if it is or not. She did. She got me good. Because usually, usually it'll say, like, on the side or she, anything. She, she, she thinks by looking everything up, she's going to, you know, this is going to be, from now on, the get her on the loop. Oh, she's going to keep getting me, man. Why? I'm going to be getting you on every one of them. So, I cannot wait to... I heard a noise over there. I cannot wait. Is the wait. dermatologist te uh, tested? I don't know. <laughs> yes, it is. Dermatologist tested and formulated. How, how many? Nine out of ten? I don't know, but it does not contain animal origin ingredients. So, that's one thing. That's so, gross if it is. So, that makes it vegan, I think. Not necessarily. It could contain... Egg yolks. <laughs> All right, so this is what my face Fish looks blubber. like. <laughs> so this is what my face looks like. I will be using this Ghastly. product up. This is what it looks like right here. It is a nice blue uh, gel type cream. Seems to sink in uh, very fast. Does have a nice soapy smell to it. So we have so that's that. So this product. Stay tuned for part two when I. We'll have finished it up, and I will show you the before and after. Well, at least it doesn't smell like poop, like that cream you gave me. She's still on with the Dr. Brand. Look, if anybody's owned a Dr. Brand ever, or the one that I use, that mm -hmm. thing smelled like poop. It did smell like poop. Okay. So, uh, stay tuned for part two, or the final review, final countdown of this product. And that is it for us today. Have a great day. Have a great week. Stay safe, stay cool. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, everybody. Poop.